Ahoy there! How are you? I am increasing the frequency of my little exercises. I'm really tired today, so we're gonna keep. I hope you're doing good. Um, uh, my areas that I'm meaning to focus on are uh, my abs, my quads. Well, my abs, my calves, um, my glutes, and my quads. So um, we'll do the abs at the end. Calves, calves are kind of a hard one. So we're going to start with just a classic, uh, just a, a toe stretching exercise. Because everything in your body is connected. And easy does it. Excuse me. I went from being like super active, riding my bike all the time, you know, to and from work. And it was easy because my commute, was, I lived like five minutes away, so it really wasn't that far. But um, when you have like a five minute commute to work on your bike, you're like, oh, I'm just going to go for a quick bike ride. Um, so your activity level is just higher. It's kind of the same thing like if you're a singer and you often sing, your voice will just kind of stay warmed up. And if it's not warmed up, you you do need to do that. So I haven't done vocal warm-ups in a long time. Um, but with me talking more, I need to do them. I've been raising my voice a lot. <clears throat> so I'm worried that I might damage my vocal cords. Anyway, enough about me. <clears throat> just throwing out some ideas. Um, so basically, we are going to stretch, reaching for our, our tippity toes. Hello, toe. Oh, hello, baby. Until we feel less tension. Whoa, in them. You want to stretch with me? Here, sit, sit and stretch. Reach for your toes. Can you reach for your toes? Whoa. She's a little yoga girl. She already knows. She's like, Mom, let me lead the lesson. I know. Ooh, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, good job. We're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Shake your feet. Shake, 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 Sorry. Um. Uh oh. Oh, hey, you want the water? You can have it. Here you go, babe. Yum. Yeah, I got my red light on. Makes everything look pink. Mmm. Is that a yum? This is a good core one. Just place your hands on the floor. Make sure you have them slightly, you don't want them fully splayed, but you want them like loosely out. Let's do 10 of these one. Two, three. My form is off. So it's all about angles when you're stretching. Okay. So we're wanting our hands to be just slightly below our hips, okay? That might be too far forward because we are leaning, but yeah, we're gonna have to adjust. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, yay! Go! That's right. Yay, yay, yay. Good job. You want to do some butterflies with me? It's an apple. It's, a, it's an apple. Good girl. You're a smart girl. Would you like an apple? She didn't want her lunch. Basically anything. What did she end up having? 
um, a fig bar. I made her a corn dog. Those have been working really well. Um, I think I forgot. Uh, oh, I made a corn dog and I had like a little pancake on a stick thing. She didn't like that at all. So we'll try again with the corn dog. We'll give her an apple. I like butterflies because they just like make my hammies hurt less. Um, and she comes back. We'll get an apple. Uh, okay, so quads. Um, an easy quad one that you can do without like doing much is like a you know a partial like a slob squat I guess. So you're just gonna lift and go back down. Lift. And go down. And we'll just do ten of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And then when you're there, I don't know what this is called, like a crab walk, but it helps you kind of figure out like where your calves are, how defined they are, and then these little toe presses. Let's just do 10. One, two, three, four. thing about wearing shoes with a heel is that they uh, those m muscles are activated more often you can kind of emulate the same thing okay creakiest part of the floor right there all right again we're just keeping it light and easy a nice uh, classic foot tucked into your thigh make sure your foot is pressing the heel is pressing against your thigh that's like where most of the pressure should be you don't want to go too much higher than uh, your inner thigh <coughs> it's important to lean forward for this exercise as well because we're stretching our hammies hold it leaning forward you really will get the most impact alright if you place your hand just above your knee other hand should be like holding your foot trying to like pull your toes your pinky toe out because in, in this exercise naturally you'll like push that's what most people do you'll like push your toe it's down like that and what you're wanting to do is pull right and you'll find you're like oh wow at least for me right now I have kind of low circulation because I can feel some tingling on the outside of that foot it's pretty common your extremities especially your pinkies <clears throat> uh, those fingers or digits uh, if, the, if you're not walking around and moving around the blood will not be flowing there so let's check okay nine minutes sweet we just got five more minutes of this that's what I love about 15 minute routines too because that's manageable. If you drive to the gym and do a 15 minute workout, you feel dumb. But when you're just getting started and you're like, 15 minutes is easy. Okay, look, we can do more. Um, I have oil in my hair, so I'm gonna lay this piece of coloring paper down. If you have a yoga mat, those work really great too. I just have my rug. 
So we're gonna kind of stick with the theme earlier that Brooke determined for us um, because I don't want to get my hair wet. This is a really easy one. You just go, you can feel your core when you start to lean back. So lean back, bring your legs up, and just try to hold this for as long as you can. We're gonna go, we're gonna shoot for a minute. So let's just grit our teeth and count very slowly in our heads. Twenty. Oh, it's hard. Oh, ten second breaks. We're still activating our core and some of our lower abs. Let's hold it for thirty more seconds. <clears throat> So we're gonna do some more ab exercises because that shouldn't be as hard as it is. So we're gonna stick with easy ab exercises, okay? Now the easiest ones I know. Are these puppies? These are not even working your abs, right? You're just moving your legs. But you are working your lower and a couple of your upper abs. See, pretty easy. Once your abs like kind of start hurting. You're aware that you're like not really using it so you can lean, try to lean up a little bit more to get more out of it yeah. it's always good to just keep exercises light and fun once they start getting too hard at least for me it's not fun and you don't want to do it and this Anybody can do this. You can do this in your bed. Okay. I'm getting kind of bored. So let's count out. Let's do 30 more. One, two. Okay, so that's like five. One full set. Seven. feels tighter doesn't it a little bit more doomed ah, okay now this we're gonna stand up for this one because we only have a like 30 seconds so why not make it fun okay on the Teletubbies they have this uh, standing star exercise which is basically jumping jacks for kids which is such a great one, you know, uh, uh, that's kind of what inspired me to try to exercise. I was like, oh, that's so smart. 
as well as exercises do have to be modified for kids. That really helps teach kids what you're going for, at least most of the jumping jack is, you know, like that, but kind of introducing them to that motion. Um, oh, that just felt, that felt great. Um, oh, oh, whoops. Um, okay, well, congratulations. You got through another workout with me. <clears throat> um, thank you for participating. Um, if you're wanting more of a workout experience, um, at this point you should be like gently warmed up. So some cardio, I always like the Jane Fonda exercises and the, like the Tybo guy. Um, and of course, you know, the classic, uh, classic exercise videos, um, of Richard Simmons. I've done so many of his exercises. They are really great. Um, he definitely got me motivated to exercise way back in the day. So, um, what other cool things can you do? It's always good to do like, um, if this is the only exercise that you're doing for the day, if that was, you know, a lot for you, which no shade, that kind of was a lot for me too. <coughs> it's important to do your cool down. <coughs> excuse me I got to go to the bathroom so in my cool down I'm going to take my hands and rub them along my legs so that I can feel if I notice any new muscle developing at all um, and I notice a little bit in my calves I've been working them I've been working my quads for a long time so I do notice a lot more muscle there um, and then if you have any knots you're gonna want to try to do that in your back as well you know Try to run your hands up and feel okay where is my tension do i do i need some more exercise should i do some back rolls <laughs> back rolls are fun and so easy and they're really really good for you so if you can do like you know 25 of these today or every day and help strengthen the muscles in your back and your core and all you're doing is goofing around hi oh she's hungry let's go get a little snack or any all right can you say bye bye hi, hi. <laughs>